Black holes are anything but holes, anything but empty spaces. In reality, they are a huge amount of matter compressed into a very small area, more massive than the sun, and condensed into a sphere about the size of New York City. This is how a black hole forms, generating a gravitational field so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape it. In recent years, NASA instruments have revealed a new image of this strange object, considered by many to be the most fascinating in space. And we must talk about what the James Webb Space Telescope has just discovered, as it is undoubtedly one of the most shocking findings of the year. Once again, James Webb has exceeded all expectations by detecting the oldest black hole in the universe, the progenitor of all black holes, a cosmic giant 10 million times more massive than our Sun. The James Webb Space Telescope's powerful cameras allow it to travel back in time, so six primitive, possibly the oldest massive galaxies have recently been discovered, and each believed to contain a supermassive black hole inside. Join us as we explore this exciting find made by the James Watt Space Telescope in deep space. Astronomers believe that each of these six galaxies could harbor a massive super black hole millions or even billions of times the mass of our Sun. These early supermassive black holes could be just a small sample of the countless black holes that reached even larger sizes during the cosmic dawn, the period that began about 100 million years after the Big Bang, when the young universe shone for a billion years. During that billion year period, astronomers are still not sure why so many black holes existed and how they grew so much dimensions. The process of their sudden formation in our young cosmos remains a mystery. Astronomers continue to research for even younger primordial black holes, which may have arisen shortly after or even before the Big Bang, according to some theories, but so far they remain elusive. Astronomers have also discovered the existence of something even larger than a supermassive black hole, ultra-massive black holes. Although there are no fundamental differences between supermassive black holes and ultra-massive black holes apart from their size, the ultra-massive black holes that we know of are few and far between. Fortunately, scientists have managed to detect an inactive black hole with a mass of 32.7 billion times that of the Sun. This was made possible by gravitational lensing, a phenomenon predicted by Albert Einstein which literally illuminated the previously undetected giant. This cosmic colossus is located at an enormous distance of 2.7 billion light years at the center of a huge galactic cluster. These objects do not emit large amounts of energy and do not interact significantly with their surroundings, making them difficult to detect. In the case of Abel 1201, Gravitational lensing generated a duplicate image of the brightest galaxy in the cluster, allowing scientists to take a close look at the black hole and at its center. Although previous research suggested the presence of a black hole, its size was unclear until now. By analyzing images of Abel 1201, the researchers used a computer program to evaluate the possible sizes of the known black hole. The simulations revealed that a black hole with a mass of 30 billion times that of the Sun appeared to be the most likely. Gravitational lensing provides the opportunity to study inactive black holes, something that is currently not possible in distant galaxies, according to James Knight Gale, a cosmologist at Durham University. According to a press release, this approach could allow us to detect a large number of black holes beyond our local universe and reveal how they evolved in the cosmic past. In recent years, gravitational lensing has also been of great help to researchers in identifying distant galaxies and exoplanets. Thanks to their potential to uncover some of the most elusive black holes, we may be close to understanding how these mysterious objects formed. Earlier this year, two shocking discoveries related to black holes were made. One was the finding that something massive and unknown is being sucked into the black hole at the center of our galaxy. The second discovery revealed that advanced alien civilizations are using black holes as quantum computers. These two discoveries occurred in close proximity, 
Many wondered if the massive object being sucked into the black hole was an alien spacecraft. However, I regret to report that the unidentified massive object is not an alien spacecraft, although that does not make it any less peculiar. This strange object, duped X7, is believed to be a massive cloud of dust and gas that is approximately 50 times the mass of Earth and has been greatly stretched by the powerful forces of Sagittarius black hole. According to a recent paper published in the journal Astrophysics, astronomers have discovered that X7 now extends to a distance of 3,000 astronomical units, or 3,000 times the distance between the Sun and us, and its origin is not yet known with certainty. Much remains to be learned about the origins of X7, but astronomers suggest that it may be the result of the merger of two stars that ejected a large cloud of gas. It is important to keep in mind that any object approaching a black hole must contend with extreme gravitational forces. In the case of X7, which orbits Sagittarius, it is a star with an estimated age of about 70 million Earth years, and it is expected to reach its closest approach to the black hole around 2036. Despite its unfortunate fate, the giant cloud is expected to gradually disintegrate into the black hole, which is likely to generate a luminous fireworks display in observations. This phenomenon draws attention to the possibility that extraterrestrial civilizations are using black holes as quantum computers. The Fermi paradox raises the question of why we do not see evidence of extraterrestrial life everywhere, since if life is common in our universe as suspected, we should find evidence for it. This paradox has puzzled astronomers and cosmologists since the earliest days of modern astronomy. The hot triplet conjecture is one of many proposals that attempt to address this conundrum, arguing that if there was any advanced life in our galaxy, we should observe signs of its activity everywhere. Some of the clues we are looking for include self-replication proof, megastructures, and other type 3 activity. On the other hand, there are several proposed solutions that challenge the idea that advanced life would operate on massive scales. Some suggest that advanced extraterrestrial civilizations might be involved in different activities and locations. In a recent study, a team of German geologists and researchers proposed that extraterrestrial civilizations might use black holes as quantum computers. This idea makes sense from a computational perspective and could offer an explanation for the apparent lack of activity we observe when looking out into the cosmos. So far, most SETI projects have focused on searching for its technological signatures in the form of radio waves, due to the ability of these waves to propagate through interstellar space. There have also been attempts to search for Dyson spheres, which are theoretical megastructures built around stars. However, researchers Jude Vailai, a theoretical physicist, and Ansar Manov, a professor of physics, suggest looking for something entirely different evidence of large-scale quantum computing. The benefits of quantum computing are well documented, as it allows information to be processed exponentially faster than digital computing and offers immunity to decryption. Given the rapid advancement on quantum computing today, it is logical to assume that an advanced civilization could adapt this technology on a much larger scale, regardless of its level of advancement of its particle and chemical composition. We are unified by the laws of quantum physics and gravity, and these laws tell us that black holes are the most efficient stores of quantum information. While we have come a long way in understanding black holes, there is still much we do not know. However, it is exciting to explore new ideas and possibilities in our quest for knowledge. Now, what do you think? Let us know in the comments box. Remember to like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to it so you don't miss out on more valuable content like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.